We will get started in just a moment for the first round here on the Sports Fan Base Network.
Welcome back to the North American Cornhole Alliance, Southwest Ohio region. The second slate of three. We have some adjustments. There are some players who have been subbed in. So from the looks of it, it could be the person in the yellow shirt. We will get the name of that person in a moment, filling in for a fellow cornhole player. Apologies for the delay. We are six minutes past the hour here. Getting set. Again, my name is Connor Bueller, play-by-play. -play. Jack Byrne, my producer. Both of these teams, 0-1, looking for their first win on the year. If we look back to the last time they played, last weekend... Sunday, April 14th, the Columbus Yard Dogs took their first loss to the Tri-State Titans, which we just shifted from their competition. They lost that one 21-3. The Natty Steamboats, likewise, in the earlier slot last week, lost to the Kettering Riders 21-3 as well. So, 21-3, same scores, same record. They meet each other. One could call it destiny. Which way will they go down the path? 0-2 oh or 1-1? One one? We're rocking some pajamas on the left side. Still doing some warm-ups. Like I said, we're going to get the final and approved roster for the folks that are filling in. Just a few minutes ago, I did go down... The list of players according to the website. Subject to change, of course. All right. We'll be starting here shortly. We'll be starting shortly. The, the first goal. round, still the same. We just received the lineups. We'll go over that in a moment. For the yard dog, the away team. We'll be throwing first. All match. Dan Freshour, Matt Barnes, Brad Woodman, Jeffrey Collins. We'll start with the first round. We have Trevor Longmire, Brian Longmire, Alex Gregory, and Paul Woodward. The team round. Team doubles starting shortly. So, for the approved lineups, week two, three o'clock start for the Yard Dogs. Going first, Dan Freshour, Matt Carnes, Brad Borkin filling in for Jeffrey. Collins, pardon me, he's filling in for somebody, Jeffrey Collins is also here. On the other side for the Steamboats, we have Trevor Longmire, Brian Longmire, Alex Drake, and Paula Whitmore. So no changes for the Steamboats and one sub for the Yard Dogs. He is filling in for Tristan Collins. So their captain for the Yard Dogs is not here. As we get started, 16 minutes for the first. Let's go. First shot. At in a thousand. That's in. I believe that's Dan Freshour with the shot. Off the board. Off the board. So I believe that is Brad Borkin in the yellow, the substitution for the captain of the yard dogs, Tristan Collins. Then Fresh Hour will shoot. Let's go. Come on, Paula. Let's go, Paula. Got our first wash of the 3 o'clock slate. We stay 0 0, 15 minutes. One minute has elapsed. We continue. Whitmore with the shot. There, there, it is. there it is on the board. Yard dogs follow. Off the board. Might have fallen in. I believe it did. 
Yard dog shy of the board. Here comes Whitmore again. It's on the board. Longmire shot on the board. Six on five. Five. Six on five. Five for the steamboats. Good start. Five to nothing. Fresh hour gets set. Plants his feet. Looks at the bag. Looks at the board. Fires. It's off the board. That is Trevor Longmire with the shot. Fresh hour. It's on the board. Got some traffic behind the hole. Okay, so it's six to nothing. Steamboats, Whitmore sinks it. On the board. Brian Longmire off the board. That's that's in. Whitmore aims, fires on the board. Yard dogs. I think that might have hit just before, but it still landed on the board. It didn't touch the ground. Longmire shot, sinks it on the board. One for the steam Seven on six, one for the steamboats, seven nothing. Long way to go, folks. First one to 21 gets those valuable five points for the match score for the team doubles. Fresh hour for the yard dogs getting set. Fires on the board right next to another bag. Longmire, that's Trevor. Skips across the hole and doesn't go in. This is the replacement Brad Borkin. It sinks. He likes that. Fist bump. That goes in. Fresh hour. Fires. Off the board. Not what he wanted, but that's all right. 11 minutes to go in the first. Seven on six, one for the yard dog. So they get on the board, score seven one. That's in. Here comes Whitmore, fires off the board. Longmire, the captain with the shot. On the board for the yard dogs. Here comes Whitmore again. On the board. Yard dogs thinking strategically. What do I want to do next? The captain is back. Brian Longmire. Another long thought. Fires on the board. So it was plus three for the yard dog. Seven four. Left side of your screen. Ten and a half minutes left. Round of applause. Ten and a half minutes left. Fresh hour with the shot. That's in. 
believe that might have been his first he made in. Borkin. Fires. That's in. Trevor Longmire. That's a hanger. Back of the board. Fresh hour fires. Off the board. It's been a rough going in the very beginning for him. But we have plenty of time in this competition. Just the first round. Love it. That was a wash show. Seven to four, the score stays the same. The Natty Steamboats lead the Columbus Yard Dogs. Ten and a half minutes to go. Yard Dogs get it. One more. She gets it. Horn goes off. That goes in. Captain is back. Brian Longmire. I think that'll count. I don't think it touched the floor. But it landed on the board. Yard dogs go off. Whitmore is back. Fires. Ooh, it could have slid in, but it didn't. Slid across off the hole. Off the board, excuse me. Yard dogs get one. Here's the captain. It's on the board. A gentle sigh from the crowd. Maybe that's not what they wanted. Nine on five, yard dogs get four. Eight to seven, the yard dogs take the lead. And fresh hour. Two bags, plants his feet, fires. That's off the board again. Drake with the shot. Borkin just shy. That could be set up for a block. Trevor Longmire fires. Block didn't work. They both went in. Fresh hour. Can he get one? Yes, he can. Sinks it. Tiger Woods esque falls right in. Another wash. Eight to seven is the score. Of course, a wash, so nothing changes. We have Whitmore and Drake going against each other. That one goes in. I believe that was Drake. Whitmore. On the board, crowd says, uh-oh. On the board as well, here's the captain, Brian Longmire. Fires. That's in. Light work for him. Here comes Drake and Whitmore once again. Drake fires. That's in. Whitmore lines up the shot. Fires. That's in. How do you like those apples? Here come the yard dogs. Oh, captain's back. Fires. That's in. Lifting his team up as a captain should. Takes a gulp of water. Steamboats plus four. They take the lead on the shoulders of their captain. Doing what he does best. Says, don't worry guys, I got us. Take the lead, 12 to eight. Getting close to six minutes here in the first. Fresh hour is up. Shot. Getting closer. Made some adjustments. He's towards the back of the board now. Trevor's shot goes in. Borkin with the shot. Replacing their captain. Drake, that goes in. So, not quite a block, but there's about three bags around. To your right side, there's a bag hanging there. Fresh hour makes it in. He's back. Watch out, folks.
Wash, 12-8. Whitmore and Drake going against each other again. Drake's just falls off. Here's the captain. Ron Longmire fires. That's in. I believe this is Matt Carnes. Shot off the board. Whitmore fires. That's in. Drake. Unlucky. Hit the front of the board. Bounce on the ground. That won't count. Longmire's back with Carnes. That's in. Barnes on the board. It's hanging, but it counts. <laughs> Steamboats win it. Final score 21 to 8. So they will get the valuable group doubles points. The match score now the Natty Steamboats lead 5, the Columbus Yard Dogs 0. We'll be right back here on the Sports Fan Base Network as we get set for doubles. <laughs> Jeffrey Collins, Brad Borkin for the Yard Dogs against Alex Drake and Paula Whitmore for the Steamboats. Stay tuned. We'll be right back momentarily on the Sports Fan Base Network.
welcome back everybody to the North American Cornhole Alliance, Southwest Ohio region. Hollywood Gaming at Dayton Raceway. We're getting set for our second round. I believe we just started. It's our second round of doubles. We have a slight adjustment. I want to make sure we got the right players to announce that you're seeing on your screen. On the left side for the Yard Dogs is Dan Freshour, and for the Natty Steamboats is Paula Whitmore. On the right side of your screen is Alex Drake for the Natty Steamboats, and for the Yard Dogs, Matt Carnes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now we're going to get started. That was still some warm ups. Apologies. We'll reset the clock. Looks like Matt Carnes will be the first to shoot for the yard dogs. That goes in. Perfect game so far. Here comes Drake. Ooh, that's a hanger left side on the board. Carnes with the shot goes off the boards. Back to Drake. Shoots off the board. Carnes. That's in. Drake. That's in. That's in. Last one. Off the board. Plus two for the yard dogs. Six on four. Plus two. Six on four. Plus two for the yard dogs. Off to a good start. Two nothing. Now we'll shift to the left side of your screen with Dan Freshour and Paula Whitmore. Left side shooting, landing on the board right side. Fresh hour shot, perfect. Whitmore, likewise. On the board. Whitmore likes to line up her shots, nothing wrong with that. I think that went in. It could be hanging, a little tough to tell. Fresh hour's got two on the boards. Oh, that one just landed, so. Paula did have a hanger. It did go in. That goes in as well. Ten on eight plus two for the steamboats. Paula Whitmore likes that. She claps. Tries to pump her teammates up. Well, teammate, I should say, Alex Drake. Tie game two two. Shot off the board. Saying you got it. Need that support. Here we go with the shot. Carnes, it's in. Drake, off the board. No more shots for him. Last one for Barnes goes in. Fresh Hour likes it. Yard dogs get three. So the crowd was correct. PA announcer confirmed. Yard dogs lead five to two, but the steamboats lead where it counts. Match score five nothing. Whitmore shot. Didn't like that one. Fresh hour. Off the board, didn't like that. Throws the bag, catches it with his hand. Whitmore shot. Off the board. All right. That goes in. All right, and we're back. Whitmore shot. Stays on. There's two more there. Six on two, four. Six on two, four for the yard dog. So, despite her best efforts, the Natty Steamboats still have work to do. Nine to two. Matt Carnes gets it on the board. Drake knocks them both off. Carnes gets in. Alex Drake. Uh, that's in. That's in. Off the back of the board. Almost was a hanger. Drake shot. Oh. 
Didn't go in. Another hanger. Plus three for the yard dog. Plus three for the yard dog. Plus three for the yard dog. So they add to their score. Now up by 10. 12 minutes to go in the second round here. 12 to 2. Not over, but the Natty Steam, the Natty Steamboats need some work. Can Paula Whitmore say anything about it? Takes the shot. Yes, she can. Fresh hour in. Whitmore. Lines it up, fires. Off the board. Rush hour. That's in. Here he comes. Watch out. Whitmore shot. That's in. Falls in. Fresh hour. Off the board. Whitmore. Fresh hour. A little upset with that. That's back in. Knuckles. Good round. That was a wash. 12 to 2. The score stays the same as we tick along. Getting to 11 minutes left here in the second round. Carnes and Drake shooting right side of your screen, landing on the board to the left. Carnes will shoot. That's in. Drake in. Both are perfect. Perfect through two sets. Shot for shot. Last one for both. Oh, that goes off the board. There's, a, there's some room here for Alex. Gets it on the board. Plus one for the steamboat. So like I said earlier, in our earlier match, uh, 1 o'clock sleep can be down by a lot, but as with any sport, chip away. You haven't lost. You haven't won. Try to cut this lead in half. be even better if you took the lead. It would be phenomenal if you won. Whitmore with the shot. That's in. Fresh hour. Off the board. Whitmore. Thinks about the shot. Fires. That's in. Fresh hour. That's in. Whitmore. Shot for shot. We go. Shot for shot. That's in. He said, good job. Round of applause. Plus three for the steamboats. Watch out. Like I said, they cut the lead in half. 12 to 6. Closing the gap. Yard dogs only up by six. That's in. Some great shooting this round. Not a lot on the board, a lot in the hole. You like to see it. Nice clean game. Oh, till that. That goes off the board. Another wash. 12 on 12. Score stays the same. Just under 9 minutes in the second. 12 to 6. Yard Dogs lead. If they want to add to their match score, they need some more points, of course. They don't want this lead to get away from them. That's off the boards for Whitmore. Fresh hour. That's in. Whitmore aims. Fires. Off the board. So there hasn't been a lot on the board. Not a lot of traffic. That's a hanger. It's been a clean game, so to speak, so far. That goes in for Whitmore. Fresh hour shot. That's in. Whitmore. Fires. All right. So now we're starting to see some on the board. I think one fell off the back. One went in. And the middle one stayed on the board. Plus five in the zone. Yard Dogs 18, Steamboat 6. Plus 5. With the bark from the dogs, the Yard Dogs get 18. They can win it. It is within sight. The light at the end of the tunnel is showing 18 to 6. Just need 3 points to take this one, folks. That's in. Nice spin to the bag there. Drake on the board. Carnes off the back. Drake takes a big step. That's in. Carnes possibly a hanger. Drake 
knocks his is. Yeah, he didn't like that. Not of his head. Not what he wanted. Plus one for the yard dogs. Essentially giving him giving them a point. Getting them closer to 21. It's 19 to 6. Seven minutes even here in the second. Fresh hour. That's in. He has improved greatly. So has Whitmore. Really, everybody in this round going shot for shot. We've had a couple on the board. But other than that, it's precision shooting. That's in. Fresh hour. That's in. He likes that. Seal of approval. Whitmore off the back of the board. So I think that's going to do it. And the Yard Dogs win with a final score of 22 to 6. They add to their match score. So it is the Natty Steamboat still in the lead. Five, the Yard Dogs three. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to be back for our first round of singles. As of now, it is Matt Carnes and the captain, Brian Longmire. We'll be right back in a few moments here live at the Hollywood Gaming Center at the Dayton Raceway here on the Sports Fan Base Network.
Welcome back to the North American Cornhole Alliance, Southwest Ohio region. We are live in Dayton, Ohio, the Hollywood Gaming Center at Dayton Raceway. It's the Columbus Yard Dogs versus the Natty Steamboats. We're in the third round here. This is singles between Matt Carnes and Brian Longmire. Brian Longmire, the captain. Natty Steamboats lead the match score five to three. Lovely beverage gets passed to the captain. Some fuel to win this match. We get the game clock set up. Game clock is being set up according to our PA dress announcer. Setting up the boards and the mats, making sure everything's par for the course. Here we go. Start the clock on the first shot from Matt Carnes. Buckle up, folks. Team match score is 5-3. Team goes up 5-3. Team match score. Back of the board. The captain. That's in. Doing what he does. Carnes. That's in. Longmire. That's in. Hit the bag hanging at the end. There's another one. So there's two for Carnes. One for Longmire that are on the board. Three for Carnes. One's hanging off the back right side. Nothing but net there. All right, plus four for steamboats. Plus four for steamboats. Plus four for the steamboats. They take the lead. Four nothing. There you go. She's got that. That's we're forty-five seconds into the third round. Longmire fires. That's in. Carnes. He follows. Off the board, I believe that's the first off the board for the captain. Carnes takes advantage, goes in. Longmire, that's in. Carnes, another hanger. He had three the last round, or the last set of shots, so to speak. There's Longmire's second that goes off, and Carnes hits his own. Seven on six plus one yard dog plus one. Seven on six plus one for the yard dogs. So they get on the board, go to the other side. So we're shooting right to left. Carnes will take the first shot. That's off. Longmire. It's on the board. Carnes. I don't think he knocked his in. There's two hanging. Longmire gets on the board. Carnes, excuse me, Longmire got in. Carnes got in. Then Longmire missed. Carnes in. Longmire thinking about the shot. Shoots. That's in. Good thoughts. All right. It's plus two for steamboats. Plus two for the plus steamboats. Plus two Four. for the steamboats. Six. Yard dogs one. Six to one. 13 and a half here to go in the third. In the middle frame, we're marching along. Shooting left to right. Captain will shoot first. Fires. That's in. Carnes. That's in. On the board. That's in. There are no blocks. That's in. Shot for shot we go. Two teams that are both 0-1, but they want to get their first win. Twelve on seven plus five for the yard dogs. Back in it, tie game, six six. Watch out. So like I said, both of these teams 0-1, but there's Noticeably not been a lot of bags landing on the board and staying there. There's been a few. We've had a sizable amount, but there's been a lot that have gone directly into the hole. So great precision shooting here. Shot for shot, we go. Grab the popcorn, folks. This is entertaining. Can't wait for the airmail round. 
That's in again. Can the captain conclude? Yes, he can, folks. Don't leave him hanging. 12 on 12. There he goes. He got him. 12 on 12, so that's a wash. 12 on 12, 6 to 6. It's a wash all around. Nearly perfect. Both sides. Shooting left to right. Carnes. Ah. Hanging. Just barely. I think that's going to fall off if anybody hits the board. I was wrong. Carnes knocks Longmire's in. Carnes has two on the board. Longmire's got one in. That one finally fell off the back as one goes in. There's another one. That goes in. Used the bag to his advantage to get it in the hole. All right, we got a few on the board now. He's going to leave his fist there. He's like, you got to pound me, bro. All right, so it's nine to six. He's still waiting. He's, nah, he said, screw it. That's all right. The captain is locked in. He's got no time for that. He wants to win this for his team. No messing around. We'll see. Let's put a money line on that to see if he can do knuckles. I'll put it at plus 300 right now. Money lines are open. We are at the, uh, the casino after all, right? All right, so now we got a few on the boards. Game plan is changing. Got like four on the board now. Carnes fires. It could be a block. No, it goes in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there it is. He's like, sorry about that, bro. I saw you. Knuckles, we are back. Plus three for Steamboats. Score is now. Steamboats 12. Third ball 6. Plus three for the Steamboats. Knuckles when it goes your way. Plus three. That makes it 12 to 6. Just under 10 minutes in the third. On the board. Buzzer goes off. We might be seeing a shift here. A lot more on the board falling off. Yeah. That might be slightly a block on the left side. That's definitely a block in the front there from Carnes. The captain fires. I think he knocked one in. Three on the board. Knocks two in for Carnes. That was good. Longmire gets it to go. So does Carnes. Nine on eight plus one for the dogs. Twelve to seven. Nine minutes even. So the yard dogs hanging in there. Natty Steamboats had, of course, that big round that gave them that big lead. They lead by five. That one went in. That goes in. We might be back. Shot for shot, we're going in. In. No! Stand corrected. Can he knock it in? He knocks it in. Not exactly. All right, so they knocked both of theirs in. Both not really caring about the block, so to speak. Goes in. Carnes is the only All one right, left on the board. Ten, two, plus two for the steamboats. Plus two for the steamboats. 12 on 10, so the score is 14-7 now. Steamboats adds their lead. Now up by 7 once again. Longmire fires on the board. That's in for Carnes. Longmire. He's perfect through 2. Carnes. Same spot for him, I believe. Left side of the board on the right side of your screen. Captain has one go off. Carnes gets one in. Longmire fires. That's in. So three for four for the captain. 
believe Carnes has three on the board. Plus one for the dogs. Plus one for the dogs. Eight on seven, plus one for the dogs. So the score is 14 to eight. Our dogs holding their own. They don't want this to get away from them. If they can win this, they'll take the lead in the match score. But they got work to do, and it's on the shoulders. Matt Carnes going against the captain. It's a couple of blocks. We got three on the board. Knocks one in. Captain didn't love that. A little vocal. Hanging. Well, not hanging, but on the board. Right side, left side of your screen. That one goes in. Perfect shot. Nice bag. That. I don't think anyone in. I was 10 on 4 plus 6 for the yard dog. 10 on 4 plus 6 for the yard dogs. Watch out. 14 to 14. It is anybody's game. Honest work for Matt Carnes going against the captain. Respect for both sides, but you got to admit, that was a good round. 14-14, anyone's game. We're all tied up with six minutes to go. Halfway through this 3 o'clock slot. That goes in. The captain. That's in. That's in. Here we go. In for the captain. One on the board. Believe it was plus one for the steamboats. 15 14. Time might be a factor. Keep an eye. Counting down. Five minutes left. Need to get to 21. Captain fires. That's in. Carnes, that's in. Can we go perfect shot for shot? That's in. Carnes, nope. Off the board. Here comes the captain. That's in. The captain's perfect. Carnes is in. To go perfect. Four for four. Yes, he does. Carnes. All right, so he gets two in, one off, one on the board. Steamboat. Plus, five, Plus for five for the steamboats. All right, guys. It is 20 to 14 game point. Disregard the clock. That was a great round for Brian Longmire and the Natty Steamboats. They are one point away from adding to their overall match score. They need one. Steamboats need seven. That's in. That's in. Carnes has to be on his best behavior here. Oh, got a block. Oh, he didn't want that. That goes in. He's perfect now for the captain. For three. This might do it. This might be game. He's perfect. And that'll do it, folks. This Steamboats win it. The captain goes perfect with a little help from his opponent. 21 to 14. The Steamboats win it here. We are halfway through, folks. Don't go anywhere. The Natty Steamboats add to their lead. It is 8 to 3 match score. We'll go on to the fourth round of doubles. It's going to be Matt Carnes again. Dan Freshour is making another appearance. Versus for the Steamboats, Brian Longmire, the captain, and Trevor Longmire. We'll be right back here at the Hollywood Gaming at Dayton Raceway on SFBN.
Welcome back to Hollywood Gaming at Dayton Raceway for the North American Cornhole Alliance. My name is Connor Bueller. We are starting the fourth round, and it is doubles. On the left side of your screen, we got Brian Borkin for the Yard Dogs and Trevor Lawnmeyer for the Natty Steamboats. On the right side of your screen, we have Brian Longmire for the Natty Steamboats and Alex Drake for the Yard Dogs. The match score, the Natty Steamboats lead eight, the Columbus Yard Dogs three. Overall score, of course, zero, zero. They say they're good luck, Knuckles, and we're underway. I got it. Yeah. All right. All right. Good luck. 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 Good Drake, off the board for two. Longmire's perfect through two. Drake, that's in. Longmire, that's in. Three for three. That's in. So he goes two for four, and the captain goes four for four. So that's plus two for the steamboats. Plus six for the steamboats? Nope, I was wrong. Plus six for the steamboats. Left side shooting to the right. Brad Borkin and Trevor Longmire. That was a great round for the captain. Pardon my incorrect score. It is six nothing. Captain doing what he does best, putting the team on his shoulders. Large lead already. Longmire. That's in. Borkin. That's in. Yard dogs cut the lead in half. 6 3. Yard dogs will shoot first. That's Alex Drake off the board. The captain on the board. Drake, that's in. Plus five for the steamboats. So 11 to three should be our score here. Two great rounds. We only need 10 more points. Just two and a half minutes in. Borkin shot, that could be a block. Trevor knocks both of them in. Borkin. Slight block left side. Trevor Longmire goes over. Borkin shot, hits his own, bounces over the hole. Nine on eight, plus one for the steamboats, I believe. So 13 3 up by 10. 12 3, stand corrected, up by nine. Just under 13 minutes. Got, looks like two hangers on the left side of the left side of your screen. Left to the hole. Oh, they fall. Captain gets it in. Alex Drake fires. Falls in. A wash, 10 on 10. 10 on 10, that's a wash. A little over 12 minutes left in the match. 
little over 12 minutes right side takes a break left side shooting landing on your right side of your screen Trevor looks skyward that did not go in Borkin shot might be a hanger left side right side of your screen Trevor Longmire knocks his opponents in not what he wanted to do Borkin almost the same exact shot as before there's two from each that one just barely went on. Didn't hit the floor, though. Borkin shot. That's in. There's two on the left. They're not quite hangers, but they could go in. And one of them does. Borkin. That's in. Seven for the dollar. Plus seven. Score is now 12 to 10. Speedway Club, 12 to 10. Plus seven. For the dogs, it is now 12 to 10. They close the gap. Watch out. It is 12 to 10. The yard dogs desperately need this. Anything can happen in that final round, and therefore the one in between the fifth round, but they really need this to help out their match score and assist them in the airmail round. Great shot. That's it. Working likes it. The captain. That's in. 12 on 12. Great job. 12 on 12. That's a wash. Borkin fires. Looks like a hanger to the left side. Back of the board. Trevor Longmire. That's in. In for Borkin. Longmire. Knocked that off. The left center of the board. That one goes in. That's in. Bork in. In. Longmire. Off the board. Looks skyward. Bork in claps. Nine on seven plus two for the yard dogs. And suddenly... The stage is set. 12 to 12. We love a tie game. Good action. Anybody's game. Nine and a half minutes here to go in the fourth round. Match score eight to three. Like I said, the Yard Dogs desperately need this win to get the six. Make it even closer overall for that match score. Love to see it. Captain gets one. Drake. Oh, Captain laughs. He says, you kidding me? Let's... Went right off. Working with the fist pump. Captain gets it back in. Ten and nine. Plus one for the yard dog. Plus one for the yard dog. So they take their first lead. The captain chuckles. Not exactly what he wanted, but if we're correct, the score is 13-12. We creep along, clock ticking. 8.38 left in the fourth. Borkin will shoot. He does. Left side of your screen. Landing to the right. Goes in. Trevor Longmire. That's in. One for one both. That's in. He's two for two. He goes off the board. One for two. Nods his head slightly. Borkin. It's on the board. Longmire might have knocked his opponents in. Can't tell. I don't think he did either. So there might be three. Could be two on the board right now. Tough to tell. A couple blocks. Oh! Ten on eight. Ten on eight plus two for the yard dog. So 15-12 up by three. That last shot was very interesting by Longmire. It hit the back of the hole, but didn't fall in. And it bounced forward, but it didn't necessarily look like a hanger. Just landed oddly. So a little bit unlucky. Looked like it wanted to go in. We'll start the right side shooting to the left. Drake and Longmire. 
That goes in. Captain's back. That does not count. Can the captain... That falls off. Can the captain get some points and maybe tie this back up or make it closer? Alex Drake gets it in. Good for him. Captain not even looking at the shot. He's locked in. And that's why. Goes in. So if you notice, he's not even looking at his opponent's shot. He's focused on himself. And that goes in. Rightfully so. And he does his job. Stone cold. Doesn't look at the shots. Knows what he has to do. Gets the points. It's plus two. Should be 15-14. Might have knocked it in. I don't think he did. He's still hanging there in front to block. But that one definitely got knocked in. And then the one in the back, the hanger fell off. There's another block. Both of them go in. On the board. Trevor Longmire with the shot. Off the board. Goes for a walk. Bork in. That's in. So despite his best efforts, the captain, Brian and Trevor Longmire fall. The Columbus Yard Dogs get valuable points. 21 to 14. They win the fourth round. But the Steamboats still lead. So, Steamboats lead. Good for the Yard Dogs. It is now 8-6. to six Match score as close as it can be. We're going to take a little bit of a break before we start the fifth and final round as far as singles. And then we'll move on to the airmail. And it looks like it's going to be Brad Borkin and Paula Whitmore. You don't want to go anywhere, folks. Anybody's game here on the Sports Fan Base Network. Alright folks, welcome back to the North American Cornhole Alliance, the Southwest Ohio region. We're in Dayton, Ohio, specifically the Hollywood Gaming at Dayton Raceway. 
Match score is currently 8-6 to six in favor of the Natty Steamboats. We are in the fifth round. Singles. Brian... Excuse me. Brad Borkin versus Paula Whitmore. They were practicing just a few minutes ago, but as you can see, nobody's on your screen. Now Whitmore appearing from your left-hand side. Taking a drink, getting ready. We're going to get set here. Here comes Brad for singles. 16 minutes. And just a reminder, from the very first round, both teams are 0-1. Tied for last, technically the Columbus Yard Dogs are the fifth seed. The Natty Steamboats are sixth. Points for three. Points against 21. Even across the board. Even almost in the match score. 0-0 zero, zero even. The storyline is there. Who gets their first win of the year? If I As a reminder, this is our second game, our 3 o'clock slate. Our third, the 5 o'clock slate to complete the ensemble. The Dayton Air Raiders and the Kettering Riders will be coming up next. Taking a little bit more time to practice. Nothing wrong with that. As far as we know, the airmail round... For the Yard Dogs will be Matt Carnes and possibly Jeffrey Collins. And for the Steamboats, it's going to be Trevor Longmire and Alex Drake. So, according to our schedules, for Brad Borkin and Paula Whitmore, this is our last match of the evening. Here we go, 60 minutes, horn goes off, we'll be off. At the first shot. Best of luck to both of them. Here we go. Total match points is eight for Steamboats, six for the other dog. Looks like Borkin will start. That's a block. She aims, knocks his in. That's what he wanted. So he's perfect, technically, until now, and he returns the favor. She's perfect. Two for two. Works for her. He's on the board. Borkin. He gets his in. Whitmore is perfect through three. Borkin. He's in. So two in for him. She got four for four. All right. Slow it down. Nice shooting. Two for Steamboats. Twelve ten. So Whitmore takes the 2-0 lead for the Steamboats. Her team is ahead. But still early. About a minute in. She'll shoot first. Ames fires. That's in. Five for five. Borkin looks like a hanger. This might be tough. She... I think she got hers in. No, she didn't, but he just knocked hers in. So she's six for six. Seven for seven. She has not missed a single shot. Of course, Borkin helping out and knocking a few of hers in. This might make the difference. Oh, there's two in front. And it did. She gets on the board, but that was pretty good. Puts her face in her hands. Her hands in her face. Plus two for the boat. So that was good. I mean, it could have been better. It could have been a lot worse. We still got two. So four nothing. Good news for Paula Whitmore and her team. Steamboats are up. Two minutes in. She'll shoot first. Fires. That's in. She's made all but one with the help of her opponent. She's locked in. 
That's in. It's on the board for Borkin. That's in. She still only missed one, technically. And that's in. Near perfect shooting. Borkin follows up. Plus two for the steamboat, so one after the other. Two, two, two. Six to nothing for the steamboats. Paul Baltimore making her team proud. She's made 11 of 12. 12 of 13. We're going to watch this. Knocks her opponents in, helping him out. 13 of 14. There's a block. Oh. Yeah. All right. So slips up a little bit, but that's fine. 13 for 15. 14 for 16. So only two of them oh, haven't yeah. been All right, 12 on nine plus three in the, the board. 12 plus on nine. Three for the dog. Plus three for the dog. So it's changed a little bit. Cut the lead in half. 6-3. But man, what a performance from Paula Whitmore. We'll start to lose count as the shots keep adding up. And she gets one on the board there. So game shifting. A couple of blocks. It's going to be tough for her to continue. And she gets it on the board. So there's a lot of traffic. It's going to be a lot harder to get it in as far as in the hole. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic there. Whitmore on the board. Oof. She knocks her opponents in. She knocked Borkin's bag in. And he fires. It's off the board. This looks like her last shot. Whitmore fires. Right where she left off. Eight on seven. Plus one for the dogs. Plus one for the dogs. So. Oh, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. So scoreboard correction. Honesty from Borkin. Well appreciated. Good sport. Seven to three. He said, "Nope, that wasn't my point." Given to Whitmore. And the steamboats, seven to three. Gentlemanly move. We continue. Ten forty. That's in. Shot. Borkin gets it. Looks like there's two from each team hanging. Excuse me, not hanging, but on the board. Oof. She knocks hers, knocks Borkin's in, but hers goes in as well, and then Borkin follows up with another. Plus two for the dogs. 12-10 plus dogs. two for the dogs. They're back in it. 7-5. Seven, five. Five. Roughly 10 minutes left. Here in the fifth round of singles. Before we move on to airmail. Six minutes elapsed. Whitmore fires. That's in. Knocks one in as well, it looked like. Borkin on the board to the right side. Right side of your screen. Shooting left to right. Whitmore in. Borkin. On the board. Left side, right side of your screen. Whitmore gets it in. Uses the bag to knock it in. Borkin. That's in. I think he still has two on the board. She didn't like that. Knocks her own off. Or it slides off, I should say. Plus one for the steamboat. Plus one. Four is steamboat eight. Five. But it works out. Let's go, Paula. The crowd says plus one for the steamboats. It's now eight to five. Nine minutes left. Paula will start. She aims. Fires. That's in. 
Borkin fires. That's shy. Whitmore fires. Might be a block right before the hole. A little bit to the left. Worked out for her. Borkin knocks it in. She did not like that. Yep, nods her head. It's okay. Put it in the past. There's a block from Borkin. She didn't like that. She went right to left. Goes for a little walk. Borkin goes off the board. Not as bad. Damage has been limited. All right, we got one for the uh, steamboat. Yes, yeah, one for the steamboat. Steamboats have nine. Dark dog, five. Plus one for the steamboats. Nine, five. Going to start watching the clock. 7.48. <laughs> That's in for Whitmore. Borkin in. Whitmore, I believe, has one on the board. Hanging. Thought it was going to be two, but that went in. Borkins. It's a hanger. Whitmore. That's a hanger. I don't know. Actually, correction. Borkins might not be a hanger, but Whitmore's definitely does look like it. And now there might be two hangers, two on the board. All right, that's a watch. But that's a wash. No fret. Does not matter. Still 9 to 5. Clock ticks down. 7 minutes. Match score still 8 6. Paula fires. That's on the board. Slightly to the left. Borkin. A block set up right in between. There's some traffic in front. She nods her head. Didn't love that. She's got two on. I think he might have knocked his in, Borkin. Paula Whitmore's got three on. I think Borkin's got one. And he knocks his in again. So three on for Whitmore, one for Borkin, two in the hole for Borkin. Whitmore gets four. I think all of her shots are on the board. And Borkin has two on the board. Plus four for the yard dogs. Nine to nine. We're all knotted up. Keep an eye on the clock. Just shy of six minutes. Anything can happen. Like I said... Team's records nearly identical, and throughout this match, in specific, Whitmore and Borkin have been tied. Shot for shot, not exactly perfect as what we've seen going in the hole every single time, but absolute warfare on the boards. A lot of traffic, some blocks, at some times they've gone in repeatedly. Repeatedly, excuse me. <laughs> nine to nine. Five minutes. Whitmore fires. It's on the board. Time out. All right, we'll stop the clock. We'll step aside. There's a timeout. According to Whitmore, it is 9 to 9. Don't go anywhere. Clock might be a factor. We'll be right back.
Okay, so a little bit of a scoreboard adjustment. It's 11 to 9. Yard Dogs take the lead. Out of the timeout. Borkin's on the board. Whitmore's on the board. Borkin on the board. Shot for shot on the board here. All right, we got some traffic left side of the hole. Borkin fires on the board. Whitmore. She might have knocked one in. If not, I think there's three on the left side of the board for her and two for Borkin on the right side. Ooh, man, unlucky. Two? Two. Two. All right. That was plus two for Tingo. Plus two for Tingo. Fourteen yard dog. Eleven for Tingo. Just under four minutes to the match. Just under four minutes. We'll make a scoreboard correction. It's plus three for the yard dogs total. Plus one for the steamboats. Just to correct the scoreboard. So it should be 14-11 yard dogs. We'll confirm that in a moment. And the clock might be a factor. Unless something happens where there's a lot of points in a really good round. But based on what we've seen for... You know, 12 and a half minutes, it's really been a close game for the most part. Neck and neck, shot for shot. When there's a lot of bags on the board, not really a lot of points get added to each individual score. And in this game we love of Cornhole, when you go shot for shot and they all go in the hole, there's none on the board and that results in washes. So... We'll see what happens. Three minutes to go. Fifth round before airmail. There goes the buzzer. Six on two. Six on two, four for the yard dog. All right, four for the yard dog. Six on two, four for the yard dog. So. Two and a half minutes left. Two and a half minutes. 18-11. They can get 21 before that time runs out. Whitmore finds herself suddenly down by 7. Has some work to do. Didn't want that. Knocked Borkins in. He fires. Doesn't quite miss a beat. Slightly a block. Whitmore... Knocks her in, but her original shot flew off the board, and Borkin knocks his own in, carrying his own. He's out. Whitmore gets one in. So this can be it. Despite her best efforts. She's down by nine. Borkin can end it here, 20 to 11. If so, it is great for the Columbus Yard Dogs because it gives them the lead in the match score for nine to eight, which in my experience I haven't seen yet where it's just a one-point lead overall for the air mail round. Can't wait. Seatbelts fastened. He shoots. Off the board, hits the bag. Looks like there's three on the board. Two for Bork and one for Whitmore. I think she knocks his in. So this could be it. She wipes her forehead. His falls. Less than a minute to go. Two fell. Eight on seven. But I think it was for her. So, 20 to 12. Nine on 10, Morgan says. Yard Dogs 19, Steve Boots 12. We'll make a scoreboard adjustment. There's some confusion. And time might run out. Take that bag off, man. I threw out a turn. 
So we'll see what happens here. If we continue playing. It looks like we will. The clock is at zeros. Horn goes off. And this is a long one, folks. She's got two on. Borkin gets it in. You have to think he's got his mind on closing this out. Whitmore makes one in. Borkin. And it's on the board. Not a hanger. Whitmore <laughs> fires. She gets it in. Way to go. It's not over yet. They walk back. I think it's plus one. 19 13. So that's the rule. At the end of the 16 minutes, you don't have to be at 21. 19 13. Listen, if we had 20 minutes, 25 minutes, hell, even 30, she very well could have won. But the natural flow of the game, moving pretty slow, back and forth, shot for shot. That's why we got the shot clock and the overall time. So the Columbus Yard Dogs take it, 19 13, and they jump in front in the match score. The scene is set. 9 to 8, 16 minutes for the final airmail round. Anybody's game, it might as well be tied. We'll transfer that match score to the overall score. Again, Yard Dogs 9, Steamboats 8. And we'll be right back for the airmail round here on the Sports Fanbase Network.
behind that eight. We're going to go hold. We're going to hold the top. Cancellation score. Good luck. Start. Dogs Here we go for the airmail round. Yard dogs are first. I'm Connor Bueller with my producer Jack Byrne. We are in the sixth and final round of the North American Cornhole Alliance Southwest Ohio region. Hollywood Gaming at Dayton Raceway in Dayton, Ohio. This is the conclusion of this second three o'clock slate. We have one more, the 5 o'clock slate after this, so don't go anywhere. But for now, sit tight. Because the air mail round has begun. On the left side of your screen, we have Matt Karn and Trevor Longmire. On the right side of your screen, we have... Alex Drake... And I think that's Jeffrey Collins. We'll confirm that in a moment. Plus six for the steamboat. That is 14 and 9. So plus six for the steamboats. Moving quick. 14 to 9. Longmire off. Carnes off. Longmire in. Carnes in. Plus three for the steamboats. Plus three. Plus three for the steamboats. This could be over sooner rather than later. 17 9. Alex Drake with the shot. Shooting right to left. That's in. Yard dogs. Off. Back to Drake. Fires. That's off. Dogs. That's in. Takes a good bounce. He'll take it. Back to Drake. Fires. No. Shy. Yard dogs. Got it. Drake sizes it up. Fires. In and out. Dogs get it. Plus nine. Indeed, I will let the crowd take it in that situation. Plus nine for the yard dogs. And folks, we're basically tied. They took the lead. They were down by a sizable decent amount. And now they're up by one. So it's tied up by one either way for either team. And it's 18 to 17 yard dogs. They need three. Steamboats need four. We're still knotted up very close. Doesn't right, go for Longmire. That was a wash. 18 17. 12 45 to go in the sixth and final airmail round. Barking from the crowd to get the dogs going. And it works. Inject it into my veins. Zach goes in. But the boats say, not so quick. Silence the dogs for now. But they get on the board. Here come the steamboats. Will there be a boat horn or a dog hodling at the end of this match? That goes in. It sounds like it's going to be dogs right now. That goes in. Here we go. Hang on. The dogs. Off. Steamboots. Oh, bounced right off. 
Who's so into it? The camera on the right side shook. Promise it wasn't another earthquake. 20 to the yard dogs, 17 to the steamboat. 20 to the yard dogs, 17 to the steamboat. So the dogs. Check 19. 19, 17. So two more away from the dogs barking. Steamboats. Off. Dogs. That's in. Boats. Off. This could be it. That's in. It looks good. Steamboats off. Yard dogs. That's off. Boats. That's off. And I think that'll do it, folks. The dogs take it. They win 22 to 17 for the airmail round. And that is your final score. So the yard dogs, congratulations to them. They get their first win on the year. They are now 500, one on one, and the Natty Steamboats fall to 0 and 2. Well, a great game. It was close the entire time, but ultimately, to no avail, despite their best efforts for the Steamboats, they fall. Final score, 22 yard dogs, 17 Steamboats. The dogs are barking, and they're happy going home. I'm your producer. No, I'm not. Jack Burns, my producer. I am your play-by-play -play announcer, Connor Bueller, signing off from the Sports Fan Base Network. We'll catch you for the third and final slate at 5 o'clock. Don't go anywhere.